And here we have some fresh release spoilers for Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, the new Magic the Gathering standard set replacing Core set which will be released this July. Let's have a look at the cards spoiled. Bruenor Battlehammer 2, 1 red and 1 white, commonly known as Boros creature or Lorehold nowadays, it's Strixhaven, so it's Lorehold or Boros, from Ravnica. Legendary Creature Dwarf Warrior, it's a 5-3, it's an uncommon card. Each creature you control gets plus 2, plus 0 for each equipment attached to it. You may pay 0 rather than pay the equip cost of the first equip ability you activate each turn. We have the standard frame and we have also the rulebook showcase frame, that is the new showcase frame for Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realm. Let's discuss this card. As I said, it's a Boros or Lorehold Depend if you prefer Ravnica or Six Haven legendary creature, which has synergy with equipments, giving equipped creature a plus two plus zero for each equipment attached to it. So if you have one equipment, it's plus two plus zero. If you have two equipments, it's plus four plus zero, etc. etc. And you may pay zero for the first time you equip. Very, very useful. Next card, it's a rare card. Drizzit Do Urdin 3, 1 green and 1 white, etc. 3, 3, legendary creature, Elf Ranger, double strike, enters the battlefield, you create Gunhevar, a legendary 4, 1 green cat creature token with trample. Whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than its power, put a number of plus 1 plus 1 counters on Drizzit equal to the difference. There's also the standard version and the rule book showcase version. This is a very interesting creature in my opinion. It's a legendary creature, so can be your commander. It's a 3-3, it has double strike. Create that 4-1 green creature token with trample. And whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than Drizzit power, put a number of plus one plus one counters on Drizzit equal to the difference. Therefore, if the 4-1 green creature token with trample attacks and dies, it will give four plus one plus one counters to Drizzit and Drizzit will be a 7-7 seven, seven with double strike. Last card, it's a mythic, it's a planeswalker, Lolt Spider Queen. Three and two black comes in play with four loyalty counters. Whenever a creature control dies, put a loyalty counter on it. Zero, you draw a card and you lose one life. Minus three, create two, two one black spider creature token with menace and reach. Minus eight, you get an emblem with. Whenever an opponent is dealt combat damage by one or more creatures you control, if that player lost less than eight life this turn, they lose life equal to the difference. There's a standard version and a very interesting, nice, borderless version. Let's have a small discussion on this card. It's a very interesting planeswalker in my opinion. Yes, it's a 5-drop and comes in play with 4 loyalty counters, but whenever a creature you control dies and let's face it, black sacrifices too much creatures, you add more loyalty counters. For 0, you draw a card and you lose 1 life. Minus 3, you create some defenses or some attackers. And the minus 8, the ultimate, it gives you a guarantee of 8 damage each turn. Just hit your opponent with 1 damage from a creature. Leave me a comment below what you think about these three new spoilers for Dungeons and Dragons adventures in the Forgotten Realm. And hit that subscribe button for more and more videos about Magic the Gathering and the Collectible World.